adjuvant analgesia has been around for a long time, uh, and uh, it comes under the name of rational poly polypharmacy or multimodal pain management. Unfortunately, our definitions for these things have been somewhat obscure, and the research behind them uh, has been minimal. However, intuitively it makes sense that if we're using different mechanisms of action in different pharmaceuticals that we might be able to impact pain in a better way. Over time, these terms have uh, evolved to mean opioid sparing, and that uh, also is part of what we do with the, analges with the adjuvant analgesics. So um, applying this, however, can be challenging, and uh, it may be that applying these uh, increases the risk for side effects and drug-drug interactions. So the bottom line is to apply them carefully, to think about the mechanisms of action and not duplicate those, uh, to hopefully use them to reduce the amount of opiate not necessarily eliminate it, depending on what the patient needs, uh, to improve pain control and to eliminate drug-drug uh, interactions and side effects. That's, that's the goal, that's the approach, and there are multiple medications to try. One of the things that I emphasize is using non-pharmacologic approaches, ice and heat, psychological, all the other ones that we may apply, which are always a better route to take than adding another medication. Thank you very much.